Do you even index, bro? Whoa. Hello everybody, I'm Richard Holder and welcome to the channel. Please hurry up, make sure, hit that like button, hit the share button, hit the subscribe button, hit the ring the bell button so you get notified when we do all this testing. Today we're talking about spark plug indexing, which is basically the orientation of the spark plug in the combustion chamber. Now there's lots of different theories. Hey, we're gonna do it to improve mileage or emissions or stop the inrushing air from blowing the spark out. Regardless of the theory, I wanna find out if it makes any difference and power and there's only one way to do it let's jump on the dyno okay guys we got our 5.3 liter test motor we're going to try indexing the spark plugs before we can do that we need to find out where they are now what i want to do is aim the opening of the electrode try aiming it at the exhaust valve also try aiming it at the intake valve see if there's any change in power but before we can do that we need to find out where they are now are they all the same are they all different only one way to find out let's pop them all out mark them and see. Okay, we got them all out. Let's mark them, put them back in, see where they are. Okay guys, we got all of our plugs out. You can see here, what I'm gonna do, see the gap orientation right there. I'm gonna go ahead and put a line. We're gonna mark this so we know where the opening of the gap is. So we're drawing a line there, and you can see that. I've drawn a line there. I'm gonna do that on all the other plugs. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gap all of the plugs. If you guys haven't seen it already, I have a video up on plug gapping. We, we went down to 10 thousandths and all the way out to 100 thousandths on that video. So please check out that video, it's a good one. But I'm gonna put all these plug gaps at 40, put all of these in now that I've marked them all. We'll put them all in and find out where they are. Are they the same? Okay, we've got them all marked. Let's get the plugs back in and see where they are. Okay, let's take a look where they all are. Did they all go in the same? Is everything perfect? Probably not. So we can see our line down here, aiming toward the bottom. This one, aiming up. This one, aiming up, but a little bit canned to the right. This one, aiming to the side. So even all the stock plugs are not indexed the same. So this one, down, this one, up, this one, down, this one, also down. So the first thing we do before I want to orient these to the exhaust valve or to the intake valve to see if that gets any power is we need to run it the way that it is. Then I need to go and orient them at least so they're all the same. We'll just pick an arbitrary spot. Maybe we'll pick toward the intake or toward the exhaust. We'll start there. But let's get them all the same and see if having them wildly different versus having them the same gains any power. Then we'll do our comparison between aiming at the intake and aiming at the exhaust. So before we get going, one important point to make about the LS is it has a really good ignition system. Individual coil packs, we have about four milliseconds or four and a half milliseconds of duty cycle. So this thing has, has a lot of spark energy. Do you think indexing would make more of a difference on a motor equipped with a lesser ignition system, like say, something with points, maybe something with a distributor, a single coil, even a, even a factory style coil that maybe didn't have as much spark energy. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. up to the test motor. It was a junkyard motor. It had like eight cams in it, it had boosts, it had intake manifolds, it had indexing plugs, all kinds of crazy stuff, and yet it still does well. Let's head in. Okay, one final time. 
Fingers crossed. Okay, using the shims, we have now readjusted our spark plugs. You can see they're all aiming in the upward, or it's about as close as we can get to all of them being the same. They're all aiming up on both sides. Now we're gonna go ahead and try to run it again and see if there is any change. Okay, let's see if changing the plug index, making them all the same, had any effect. our cylinder head that's removed for reference. We want to check our spark plug angle. We see that, that is open toward the intake valve. We see our notches that way. So that's what we're looking for on the cylinder head that we have in here. So we'll see we got them all as close as we could. They're not exact. That one's aiming in the right direction. That one's got a little bit more but not much. So aiming in that direction. This one's kind of spot on. This one's good. So we've got all of our plugs oriented toward the intake. So now let's go run it. Okay, we're going to take a look at our cylinder head once again. You can see I have actually have it labeled here. This is where we want it aimed toward the intake. This is where we want it aimed toward the exhaust. Now you can see we've got this aimed toward the exhaust. Take a look on the combustion chamber side. The opening is oriented toward the exhaust valve. So now let's go take a look using our washer, special washer stack. We've moved these. Got them as close as we can. You can see that one's oriented toward the exhaust. This one too, those, are, those two are actually pretty close. This one's moved a little bit more, but that's as close as we could get it. And this one's also pretty good. We've got the other four on the other side. So now let's start it up, see if it changes. Okay guys, here it is, the moment of truth, what you've been waiting for, what happened when we indexed the plugs? What happened when we ran this thing with the stock orientation, the way that it just comes? What happens when we reorient it? What happens when we aimed it at the intake and the exhaust? We'll start off with our test motor, 5.3 liter junkyard L33, all aluminum 5.3 liter with the 799 heads on it and the flat top pistons. We replaced the truck intake manifold with a fast LSXR and a 102 millimeter throttle body. We were also running as usual inch and seven eighths headers with collector extensions. We had a Brian Tooley Racing red hot cam in this. I'll go ahead and put the specs up. We'd run this a bunch. We also ran it with a valve spring upgrade because we ran a bunch of different cams like this Brian Tooley Racing red hot cam. So the valve springs were obviously a necessity for that. But run in this manner, this thing made really good power. In fact, I'm doing a video comparing the truck intake manifold to the fast manifold and you'll get to see exactly what the gains were offered by this bigger manifold but we ran this thing first with the stock plugs basically the way that we all install them you put them in with a gun you put them in with a ratchet but wherever the orientation of the electrode ends up that's where it ends up and this was our first test so run with the stock plug orientation no indexing we made 477 horsepower and 400 and 
14 foot pounds of torque yeah right at 14 414 foot pounds of torque and here's what happened for our first test what we did was took those plugs out reoriented them basically so that they were all the same we didn't care whether they were going to the exhaust or the intake whether the opening was aimed toward the exhaust valve or the intake valve we just wanted them basically to be all the same as you saw in the video and here's what happened <laughs> Uh, essentially nothing and we've seen this because we know that we've taken the plugs out that I run in this motor we've run them in the 4.8 we've run them back in the 5.3 we've taken them out not put them in the same in the same uh, cylinder holes uh, and none of that really made any difference so it didn't really surprise me when this happened so what we did was took them from their normal orientation and made them all the same and we saw nothing we we see a differential of maybe one horsepower or one and a half horsepower here and so it's not really enough to decide that hey yeah this was definitely worth something but let's find out what happens now when we orient them all toward the exhaust valve or toward the intake valve now that we've tried indexing our plug going from its standard orientation to kind of wherever it goes when we install it to orient orienting them all the same let's find out if we swing them all toward the intake valve or if we swing them all toward the exhaust valve and find out if there's any power to be gained on our btr cam l33 so let's find out this is our standard orientation basically you just slam the plugs in and wherever they go they go here's what happened when we took our washers as you saw and we oriented them all toward one side we'll start out orienting the opening of the plug all toward the intake side again we're we're talking one maybe two horsepower variation and remember there could be a variation on that from run to run and here's what happened when we oriented them all to the exhaust basically these are essentially overlays of from one run to another so if you're looking for here's the thing and we'll cover this in the conclusion but if you're looking for power by orienting your spark plugs by indexing your spark plugs at least on this kind of application your typical junkyard cammed motor if you're looking for big power gains you really need to look somewhere else okay guys we ran through all of the indexing on the little 5.3 they're basically a junkyard l33 aluminum motor with a camshaft in it and a fast intake manifold and i saw basically zero horsepower from indexing does that mean indexing doesn't work and you should just throw it all away and never think about it again no it probably does there are probably gains from indexing the plug like i said from emissions and maybe fuel mileage and maybe there is power to be had with something else that has a different ignition system in it but it's important to note the following things and it's not something i would ever look at in trying to do in the general like junkyard motor i'm not looking for power there because there isn't enough there to be had for the amount of effort that it takes but here are a couple of points remember when we did this test when we had the 5.3 liter we just screwed all the plugs in and, and when we first started they weren't even the same kind of plugs they also weren't in the same they weren't indexed the same so when we put them all in they were in different areas and we changed them all and really nothing happened after I saw that I realized hey this is probably not going to show any power gains but that doesn't stop me from testing. I'm Richard Holder. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. And let me know in the comments if you've ever gained any power or ET or mile an hour from indexing. Do you then index, bro?